Okay, so this is the start of Tarbosaurus batar, which is a Chinese tyrannosaur. And I've done an enlargement of its skull, an outline of its skull, which I found. And now what I did was then I just transferred it to the pizza box. And now I've got to do the, the other side. So we just try to find a space that fits fits the uh, fits everything. And put it down. Okay. Since they're both the same, and then all we're doing now, then after that is take the pen. You know what? Maybe we'll just do it here on this other piece of cardboard that I have. I'm just trying to find spots that are pretty sound looking, that's all. And then we just take our pen, outline it. Now I had to put the picture, when I did it through the copier, I put it on enlarge 400 times from what the original was. So you got to do that for the other angle as well. And just going around trying to keep the stencil flat. I'm using a real fine point pen. As you go around, you keep the stencil flat. Any irregularities that you have, you'll be able to deal with them when you put the paper mache on it. Okay, so the outline is done. Then we're going to do the holes. Nose. This is the fenestras. Fenestration means a window. That's the the pre-orbital. And that's the post-orbital. This is the orbital. You can see where his eye would be. His eye would be like here. I don't know if they had a tympanic membrane here. This might be just where the jaw muscles attached, neck muscles, and so forth. And so, we did it. Oh. You can see, that's the two heads, two. You have two now, same. Uh, you have a template. And if you want to ever build it again, uh, you can, because you have this. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was, this is looking from the top down. Now, as I can see, we might want to use a full box on this. Although this one, because what we have to do is lengthen, lengthen the nose because the way the this was taken was is actually on a tilt, and also too, when we 
when you follow the curvature, you have a little extra length here and extra length here because it's a curve, it's not straight. So when the picture goes straight down, it's, it contracts from the side, so to speak. So you have, you have to lengthen uh, the, the nose part. All right, so we'll do that. Probably do that next time because we'll have to figure it out exactly. But so far, that's what we got up to is the, the two profiles, which then we'll bend around with the hot glue gun to uh, the shape of the head from above. <laughs>